you are now sitting there thinking, oh my God, we're at the bottom of a very big mountain here. Uh, this is from a teacher in China reflecting on the lockdown. Um, we are just finishing our seventh week of e-learning, seven weeks of being mainly housebound, seven weeks of uncertainty. We're healthy, we're happy, we are humbled. As we watch the rest of the world begin their time inside, here are some of my reflections on the last seven weeks. Accept that you have no control over the situation. Let go of any thoughts of trying to plan too much for the next month or two. Things change so fast. Don't be angry and annoyed at the system. Anxiety goes down. You make the best of the situation, whatever that might be for you. Accept that this is what it is and things will get easier. Try not to listen to, read or watch too much media. It will drive you crazy. There is a thing as too much. The sense of community I've felt during this time is incredible. I could choose who I wanted to spend my energy on, who I wanted to call, message and connect with and found the quality of my relationships has improved. Appreciate this enforced downtime. When do you ever have time like this? I'll miss it when we go back to the fast paced speed of the real world. Time goes fast. There are box sets I still haven't watched. You learn to appreciate the little things, sunshine through the window, flowers blossoming. To those beginning this journey, you will get through it. Listen to what you are told, follow the rules, look out for each other. There is light at the end of the time. I love that. It's so it's true, fun. isn't it? So, so true. So true. We all need to be able to look back for the rest of our lives and think, in this really difficult time, we did our bit and we did the right thing. Mm. Thanks, Anne. Thank you.